Hi, I'm Liz Shoreman, a speech and language therapist, and I've been using the Pocket Learner to help develop the breadth and depth of the vocabulary knowledge for the children I work with. Vocabulary acquisition is a complex and multi-stage process. It starts with being able to hear the word, listen to the word, and finishes with being able to pronounce, say the word, or sign the word. In between that, we have to be able to remember the word, process the meaning of the word, including any grammatical features that may change the meaning, such as tense and uh, plurals. Uh, then we have to understand the meaning of the word, the letters and the sounds that make up the word. We then store the word so that we can find the word when we need it, tell our mouth muscles how to pronounce the word and then say the word. Um, so we store and organise our words according to their semantic and phonetic features. The semantic features are the category, function and attributes of the word and the phonetic features are the sounds, um, syllables and what might rhyme with the word. And in order to effectively select the words we know when we need them, we need these two systems, this semantic and phonetic, to be working in harmony. These also provide the foundations for learning to read and write. In the next clip, you will see Travis and Isla using the Pocket Learner to develop their vocabulary knowledge. We are using the Pocket Learner to target organising our words by category and function. We also do an activity to work on the concept of exclusion. You will hear me say things like, which one is not an animal? We are working on understanding instructions that include the word not. A coat. Can you find coat? Well done, can you put it in the pocket? Slide it in. Where's the hot dog? Not on that page. Can you do coat? Oh, Travis, I don't think we need that one. Let's have a look what Where's the Travis Travis needs. Where's the bandage? I've not brought it today. My. Because we're doing something different. Travis? Uh, gloves. Oh. Can you find gloves? Good boy. Can you put it in the pocket? Well done. Isla. What does that say? Slide it in the pocket. So we've got gloves and a hat. Are they food or are they clothes? Clothes. They're clothes, aren't they? Travis, look. What's that? A shoe. What? Mm, what's that one? Scarf. Scarf, yeah. And what about this one? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, they're sh shorts. Short. Honey. And they're all clothes. Can you find some more clothes? Something we would wear? Which one do we wear? <gasps> and what are they? Undies. Undies! Put them in there. That's right, we would wear undies. Like, oh. So, oh, no. Try again. Mama, can I do school? Well, we'll have to see what you get, sweetheart. Put it in the pocket. So, here, I got. Can you go first? Can you hold the hot dots pen? Watch what happens, Travis. Isla, look at the pictures. Which ones can we eat? Well done. Good choice. Oh, I don't know, what are they? Fruit. Um, it's a vegetable. They're vegetables, and what is it? Carrot. Sweet corn, well done. Pass the pen over. Okay. Can you find something we wear? Uh, other one. Other. Which one do we wear? That's right. So you put the pen on the dot. Put it on the dot like that. Push it down. Perfect. Oh, well done. Did you hear that? What? It's not that one. Watch what happens. Oh, man. We don't wear a train. Ah. We wear gloves. Which one do we wear here? 
Well done. Socks here. I've got socks here. Can we pass the pen over? Which one do we ride? 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 Well done. We ride a, what's it called? Scooter. A scooter. Well done. Okay, Travis, back to Isla. Isla, which ones, which two can we drive? And what is it? Well then, Travis sitting on your bottom. We're going to play with that next. Okay, hmm, Travis, which one do we, listen carefully to this one, which one do we not eat? Which one do we not eat? Not eat. Which one do we not eat? Not hmm, I eat pineapple. Me too. Let's try it. it. We eat. Pineapple. Do we eat a tractor? That's right, we drive a tractor. In the next clip, yeah, you will see us using the pocket learner to develop initial sound awareness as we're matching the cards to the initial sound cards and we're doing some syllable clapping using the billabo. And on your bottom. Android. Right, we've got our pocket learner to practice our sounds. Can you do that one for me? Can you make that sound for me? Perfect. Can you make that sound? Can you make that sound? Brilliant, well done. Okay, I've got the big bang drum. Okay, and we are going to start our words. Isla, what's that? A camel. A camel. Can you bang the word camel on my big bang drum? Camel. Uh, do it again. Camel. Well done, it's two claps, isn't it? And what sound can you hear? T or k? Well done, k for camel. Mama, maybe you should get some bigger words. Can we pop that in there? Mama, maybe, maybe you should get some bigger sounds like ing. Well, maybe we will, but we're working on t and k today. Okay, Travis. Pick a card, which one do you want? Mm, do you know what that is? What do we call that? Mm. Is it socks or a tie? Tie. Oh, a tie, well done. And have a listen to the sound, Travis. Mm. T -t tie. T -t tie. Well done. Can you bang tie on our big bang drum? Tie. Oh, do it again. Tie. 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 One big bang. Can you put that down there? Tie. T for tie. T shirt. Wow.